Howdy, howdy. It's weekly walkabout time at the collector again. We've got heaps more really nice stuff again this week. Oh, Wedgwood. 18th century. Little Wedgwood scent bottles of ripper of a little bit. It's a nice Japanese carved in row. Some nice little net skis. This is pretty cool as well. A little sort of bloke in his woodworking shop. Really nice white fries paperweight in its box over the back on a sort of footed base. A couple of nice little melting pot Australian art glass paperweights. Perth sheer one over the back. Really nice sterling silver calling card case. Military World War I paperweight. Another one over the back for the Royal, I think, Medical Corps, something like that. We got a ladies nine carat gold watch. Nice um, agate brooch there with the gold mount. Another lovely bit of Australian art glass, just can't remember who it is. Another Perthshire Millefiori paperweight in the red box and another Perthshire one here, Whiskers the Cat. We've got another nice bits of jewellery, Richard Clemens paper, um, perfume bottle. Another nice little Scottish paperweight. More lovely little perfume bottles over the back. This is cool, a little boomerang, Australian baker like little sort of tobacco or smoking box. Menseco. Really nice Victorian mahogany veneer display cabinet with the oval sort of windows. Lovely Sessions mantel clock. She is nice, the Edwardian figure. She's had her head off though. But at least the fish are okay. Reproduction sort of deco bronze. Release the hounds. I think it's actually called Unleashed. Close enough. Globe of the World's pretty cool. Nice little retro coffee table. And a nice wicker and cane dressing table. Big full length mirror. There's a little ripper. We all love this little miniature revolving book stand. It's really kind of nice. It's nice with the little square columns. It's a bit unusual. Really nice little thing. Cool little retro sort of kitchen table with the laminate top. Little nest of three tables. What else have we got? Rocking chair. It works. A little Victorian style chair with a nice little Victorian sort of style dressing table mirror. Some cool outdoor chairs. Got big bound volumes. The Sydney Morning Herald, July 3rd to September 1884. Uh, what's this? An old accordion. Cool little lot of tools. Magazines and ephemera. Fireside box with some cool fire tools, including the Dartmoor Pixie. Victorian Wild Railways point indicator. There you go, sort of green and red enameled heavy thing. Little mixed lot of electrical goods and a little Sansui turntable. What else have we got? Stuff sold last week and it's still here, so you don't need to see that. Lots of coins. Coins, silver jewellery, there's a nice little butterfly wing brooch on the right hand side. A little bit of wood there from the HMS Worcester. Glass beads, cutthroat razor, cool cigarette cards, more coins. A gramophone with a nice little box of 78s to go with it. Good lot of CDs. Another good little portable gramophone again. Yeah, so we got the stuff down the back, sort of crafty gear, fishing reels and stuff. Old C-Mac Vitamizer in its box. Mixed lot of sort of china and dolls and crafty stuff. Three more boxes of 45 singles. Cool little retro sort of track lighting with the eyeball sort of shades. A pedal car and a billy cart. More vamp bound volumes. Sydney Morning Herald, 1903. What's that one? I think it's the same again, but from 1860 something. He's kind of cool as well, the big carved wooden religious figure. Gets signed on the back with initials. There you go. He's pretty cool. Um, some lighting, some jewellery trays, catalogues, Ramsey's catalogues, architectural and engineering, with a lot of sort of antique reference books. Uh, Enid Blyton books, a little mix lot of ceramics, some paintings by Jay Jackson, mix lot of sort of Victorian ceramics and EP, 
Got a little lot of sort of mixed again ceramics, some retro, Victorian, sort of deco gear in amongst. Cigarette cards, coffee pots and things. Retro ceramics and glass. Little jug's kind of nice there with a the little red base. Kids books, Kung Fu annual. Make your own Bozo the Clown. Rainbow Bright, Thundercats. Miffy in the snow. Cool little lot of packaging and stuff. Old monkey brand soap. Little sort of tin toy. Insector Bane, tins and stuff. Good little mixed lot. Old ephemera papers, magazines. Uh, I found the name of the artist. French guy. Jean-Baptiste Valady, I think it is. Something like that. Robert Holcomb, nice big sort of oil on paper. This is nice, the Percy Eagles, little boat at rest. Lovely big Keith Palmer watercolour. River of a bit, early autumn pastoral near Mount Remarkable, Melrose, Flinders Ranges, South Australia, that's the title. All handwritten on the mount, signed and dated 89. Just a ripper of a watercolour, lovely big thing. This is nice as well, a little pastel there of an Eastern girl, signed McWalter. Uh, some nice paintings this week. What else have we got? The PPG Esky. Stack of Playboy mags. Some cool sort of box die casts and stuff. I think there's a Holden. There you go. Panel van in amongst in that box. What else have we got? Ephemera. Dalton series wear. Some cool 8mm war films. Battle of the River Plate. Sort of a victory over the Graf Sp Spay. Fear in the Pacific, Longest Day, cool little group. Australiana Books and Ephemera. Reproduction volume of Lassiter's Diary, The Girl Who Helped Ned Kelly. Wings Above Billabong. <laughs> nice little lot of copperware. Some Chinese teapots. Carved wooden items. A couple of tikis. Comics. Lovely little lot of miniature sort of Bibles and hymn books. Cool little lot of aviation books. Famous fighters and bombers. This aero manual's pretty cool as well. It's pretty early, about 1910. Cartoon, 8mm films. Nursery China. Scooby-Doo comics. Nutcrackers. That one looks a bit hungry. I kind of like the eagle lamp. Cold painted sort of spelter. He's pretty cool. Needs a little bit of work, but he's a ripper. Some cool little telescopic picnic cups. Rolling Stones gig poster, 1973. Some more whips, coachman's whips. Some cool sort of retro and deco plastic in Bakelite kitchen alia. Fashion engravings. Cool little retro typewriter. Retro art glass ashtrays and bowls. Mixed lot of sort of ceramics and metalware. Nice little Victorian cup and saucer. Some more cool retro stuff. You've got an Ellis ashtray, Wembley ashtray. Japanese gear as well. Big Jet Set Travel store, shop, sign. Nice little carpenter's plane. Box of heavy metal CDs. Judas Priest. Who else have we got? Slayer, Iron Maiden, Metallica. French perfume bottles, including the nice big Factice. These are a nice lot of miniature books. <clears throat> there you go. The Whittacombe Fair musical tankard. Some cool sort of comedy. 8mm films. A little mix lot of packaging and gear, Harley Davidson parts and accessories. What else have we got? Little carved book stands, nice with the chip carved ends, some mirrored trivets, a couple of nice sticks. I think that's a lot of spode. Nice little Noritaki Taki three piece set, crystal and sterling, Japanese porcelain moustache cup. Kind of like the little crystal oil burner, a bit different, really quite nice. Um, Royal Albert. Another nice paperweight. Kind of like the deco atomizer. <laughs> I think German porcelain figure. Nice art deco um, Qtex, I think it is. Sort of little nail polish part set there. The Bakelite container we've put with the empty George Jensen boxes. Nice little perfume bottle again with the cut pagoda stopper. Another nice big cut crystal and silver one. A pair of perfume bottles. A pair of little temple lions, a pair of mob perfume bottles, sort of Eiffel Tower looking, a pair of Wedgwood. 
There you go, it's the pear section. <laughs> French porcelain hand painted, Limoges hand painted porcelain again. Sort of 19th century, if not earlier. These are good things. Nice little three piece copper coffee. There you go, 1972 bicentenary bottle of unopened Verve Clicquot champagne. And there's an old wines list as well up the back. <coughs> Really nice poker work doily press and contents. Couple of nice walking sticks with the silver top on one. Kind of like this. Little flyer. Two Bendagonians for service. Bendigo Painting and Decorating Co. And the Plaza Theatre. There you go. Francis goes to the races. This is an old flyer from the 1950s. Cool thing. Ed War, uh, Education Department's record of war service. So First World War soldiers that went, that were part of the teachers or something like that. Part of the Education Department. A really nice thing that'll be the what's it worth this week another nice perfume bottles perth sheer one here with a sort of millefiori base really nice hand painted victorian mustache cup and saucer and we like this little victorian something little sort of cheese dome what else have we got another nice paperweight nice little perfume bottle caddy really like this little mustache cup and saucer but we've since found that there's a hairline crack in the saucer which is a bit of a bugger another nice paperweight Another nice Perthshire perfume bottle, the Condor Twist advertising sign, lovely 1930s blue glass, nice Shelly, really nice Victorian little sort of tube uh, scent bottle set there in its little gar glass casket, Royal Albert, another really nice moustache cup and saucer, these are nice Art Deco ones, these are the big inkwell over the back with the Millefiori base. Up the top we've got some more nice things. Czechoslovakian perfume bottle with all the gilt stopper and mount. Nice Dalton twin handled pot. Really nice sort of blue and white glass overlay perfume bottle. Big Moser atomizer. David and Hermia Boyd, two dishes. This little dish here is just signed DH or HB on the back. Might be Hermia Boyd, not quite sure. And this little one here is just signed Boyd. So we've attributed that to David and Hermia. Good little things. Uranium glass. This perfume, this blue glass Art Deco one's an absolute ripper. Amberina glass, which is signed to the base as well. It's got this lovely sort of acid etched face of a girl. There you go. Another lovely uranium glass one over the back. This one's a little uranium glass one and the Mandy Miller paperweight. Also, the centre of the internal, the twisted bit inside is actually uranium glass. Another lovely bit. Czechoslovakian Art Deco. And a lovely big Lalique French glass pussycat. And that's it, guys. That'll do. Hopefully you saw something you liked. Once again, some more really nice things to sell tomorrow night. Be good.